it's with no surprise that water can be very hard to find in a dry landscape like this. With just a few days rainfall each year, scientists in the United Arab Emirates have employed technology to make it rain. Cloud seeding is a weather modification technique that improves a cloud's ability to produce rain. Aircraft is used to seed the clouds with hygroscopic salt particles. The sodium chloride and potassium chloride particles attract small water droplets inside the cloud. These droplets combine to create larger raindrops that fall from the sky due to their heavier weight. The timing is really important for a cloud seeding operation uh, as the pilots need to be to, uh, to the location of the cloud before uh, the mature stage of the cloud so, so that uh, he can re uh, the pilots can reach to the cloud where we have the uh, vertical motion wind and uh, to get a, a successful cloud seeding operation. An international community is working together to develop and improve cloud seeding efficiency. Rainfall enhancement or the interference of a human to the cloud through the cloud seeding operation can increase the rainfall amount by 10 to 15 percent. And uh, in some certain conditions, favorable conditions, it might uh, raise to about 25 percent. Yeah, but this is not a small ratio, you know, uh, when, you co when you consider that uh, each one uh, cubic kilometer is holding about 500 tons of water. For every one hour working with the cloud seeding in the UAE, we can um, expel out more water in a ratio of um, um, about uh, 100,000 uh, cubic meters. In the hotter summer months, the chances of rainfall diminishes. For a year-round supply of drinking water, Dubai turns to its coastline. Over 90% of Dubai's drinking water comes from the sea. Large desalination plants can produce 200,000 cubic meters of drinking water per day. We take the, the seawater and we push through the membranes and we are obtaining fresh water in one side and the brine, so seawater with a bit more salt in the other part. We are taking the fresh water and we are making up that water to make it drinking water. The main benefit of this process is like uh, our earth is covered of 98% of seawater. And we have so much scarcity of drinking water and most in these kind of countries that uh, the only source of drinking water is the sea. As the United Nations also is saying that, no? In the agenda of 2030, they, we need to ensure that everybody is going to be able to get drinking water. Using hydro panels, this water farm is working towards the goal of creating accessible water for everyone. Today, you have 2.4 billion people that lack access to clean drinking water. In the future, this is going to be 6 billion people that will face water scarcity. How the panels works is actually pretty simple, because we only need sunlight and air to be able to produce drinking water. So ultimately, what we do is that we have the solar PV on the hydro panels where we pull in ambient air within the panel. It passes through our secret ingredient, which is a hydroscopic material. This material only uh, absorbs pure H2 molecules that we then get into liquid form by using the heat from the sun. And this water we then mineralizing for the health. So the only thing that we have in the water from the beginning before mineralization is pure H2O. So no pollutants, nothing can get into the water. Prototypes like this are using existing natural cycles to remove energy consumption from water collection. You notice that uh, solar radiation evaporates water from open water surfaces. Whether it's a pool, it's an ocean, a lake, a river, water will evaporate. And then it will go up and form the clouds and come back as rain. So for us, we decided to capture that evaporated water on open water surfaces and we produce it so we can use it for different applications. This technology will be used in not only arid area, but areas where evaporation rates increase significantly, like the heat wave that impacted Europe uh, in the past year, where all the water has gone, instead of allowing this water to evaporate, you capture it to grow something in the season, uh, while the rivers can be uh, replenished uh, with the natural cycle. Climate change and a growing global population mean that innovations like these are essential for the future of water consumption.